You are watching Endeavor TV with the Packard Bell Dot S2 netbook that I'm testing here right now for you with video and uh, picture tests. And I'm going to show some pre installed programs. You get also a bag like this um, when you purchase it for 300 euros here in Germany. But let's start off with uh, Iron Man 2 trailer in 480p on YouTube to show you the flash video playback on this device. Um, so this is 480p. And the volume is on medium right now. And 40p uh, P plays pretty smoothly. As soon as I make a 700p, so HD option, like you can watch this video test from me, it starts to slow down a little bit. It's still watchable, but uh, it's not enjoyable, is what I would say. So this is 720p. Let me turn up the volume to the max so you can hear the sound quality of this device because that, that's pretty good. I like the speakers a lot. So this is 720p YouTube video. Not that amazing. If you go to a standard website like New York Times maybe for the resolution can see you can watch the whole page 1024 um, times 780 uh, times 600 is the resolution of this 10.1 um, inch display and yes you can read everything pretty cre uh, pretty clear we have the midest, uh, middle volume um, brightness right now but when you change the um, brightness you, it doesn't show you um, on which level you are right now so that's pretty stupid, but let's continue with uh, local 720p video, Big Bug Bunny. That actually, <coughs> excuse me, plays a little bit better. So if I go to a scene where there's a little bit more movement, you can see it plays really well. So that's not a problem and if I try a 1080p video go to the same scene you will see the sound doesn't quite fit the um, image so a little bit further when there's too much movement on a picture like here yeah you can see doesn't fit at all and especially here when he crashes into the bush you can hear that the sound doesn't fit the video so that's not good but who wants to play 1080p videos anyway on a netbook then the next test would be uh, Microsoft Word a lot of people have asked me how office documents look like on a netbook with 10 with a 10 inch screen so I'm going to show Word to you. I haven't registered it because I only need the te test version. So there's um, Microsoft Office 2007 as a test version installed on here. And yeah, it actually works pretty good. Usually it doesn't, it uh, has the ribbons on the top, but probably you know that you only have to um, uncheck or check this minimize the ribbon thing to. Um, have it always showing or just showing if you click on the tabs here on the top but on the netbook I recommend that you minimize it so you don't have it them always showing and yeah so this is Word 2007 then my next test would be Photoshop Elements which is pre-installed on here too the two icons missing here are Norton um, the Norton programs because I uh, deinstalled the antivirus and online sharing um, applications here because they slow the um, device, the netbook, uh, down a lot. So let's edit a picture I have here on my desktop. Let's maybe take this one which I took in Cologne. From nice summer weather let's just cut out 
maybe this part here, cut out, insert. As you can see, if I move it around, it's a lot smoother than with my previous use Photoshop and CS4 on other netbooks. So that's pretty good. But as soon as you do a little bit more, uh, a little bit um, harder tasks like um, smudging the picture here, you'll see it takes a lot more time. But if you would install 2 gigs of RAM, it would be, of course, a lot faster. But if you only want to use it to like paint something like this, it's, it works pretty smoothly, or if you just cut out things or erase something, it's um, better too. So this was Photoshop Elements. Now let's get to just browsing through pictures. The three five megapixels I have uh, pictures I have here. If you just go to the next one, you don't even have to wait one second and you're already there. So that's pretty great. Then the last test would be Counter Strike CS um, one po um, source one point no not source Counter Strike one point six. And as soon as this open, uh, while this opens, I can show you the device. We have here the English keyboard, QWERTY. It's pretty good. Gives you uh, good feedback and the keys are pretty big. Then the touchpad. Um, even though there is no clear edge, you can feel the difference between the dotted uh, surface and the non-dotted. Then we have the big mouse buttons here. It feels pretty great. Um, maybe it's a little bit too loud for some people, but enough for me you have the um, LEDs here one special thing about this device is that the power button is here the glowing blue one and the wireless and Bluetooth will actually show here as soon as I press FN Bluetooth pro as you can see it's um, glowing blue and if I press the wireless button and wait a little bit then you can see we have the wireless glowing here also but I don't need any of those right now so let's turn them off and show you a little bit of the Counter-Strike action. So let's put just 12 players and you will see that uh, even though I already tested it on other Atom N450 netbooks and Atom N270 netbooks, this plays um, not so smoothly at all like the other ones. On the other ones you were able to play it with ease and here it's uh, horrible but just see it for yourself so as soon as I start the game you will see yeah it's not 25 frames per second at all and let me turn down the volume a little bit or you will or you can't hear me so this was a little bit volume and yeah, so this game or <laughs> this Packard Bell netbook is not good for gaming at all, which is pretty strange. Maybe it's because of the um, small 160 gigabyte hard drive um, by Seagate, I think it was. But just check out my um, taking apart video. I'm going to be killed right now. But yeah, this was Endeavor TV with the Packard Bell. Dot S2 netbook. Uh, check out other videos under Endeavor TV on YouTube and Endeavor.com for a full only German review.